Hello everyone. Um, today I'd like to share with you uh, this uh, section we call that a zoomable uh, area chart. Um, easy to share with you. Um, I go into my screen here so you can see I have the area chart here. Right? Uh, we see this, uh, the sales uh, of uh, 2021. And then this is, you can see the, on this um, horizontal chart, you can see the value of the sales and on the vertical chart, you can see the date we see from January until December of uh, 2021. And um, the special thing is when I move uh, the mouse, when I hover the mouse here, uh, you can see uh, the background of the main chart the area you know the durations I like to um, I like to show and in the small chart here which is to, to uh, zoom in uh, to have a bigger picture of the area I already highlight in the main chart here so when I move the mouse and then the red area we see the zoom in charts um, move uh, uh, respectively as well uh, in here, um, I can I can change the the periods I like to uh, zoom and then to show in the zooming chart. Right? If I change to the city days, we see uh, the band I like to see in city days. You see, uh, you see like the f uh, the first of June. Right? If I move the mouse and uh, uh, together, right? You uh, move forward. You can see it actually it shows from the first of uh, nearly in the mid of uh, June uh, until the mid of August, like two months. Right? Okay, and um, let me back to the uh, this uh, way to build this one. Um, um, so uh, basically, uh, I have two. Uh, Two sheets here, two uh, visualization here. The first one is uh, uh, on the line together. We see, we see. I have, um, you know, you can easy to create this one in the tableau. Right? It, it is just an area chart, and one is uh, the order date, and and one column is uh, sum of sales. Right? Easy to create this one. Um, you can see I do the dual sheets here. Uh, the reason why I do dual sheets because uh, I want to uh, build the border of the uh, area here. So uh, the first one is, let me uh, and, uh, draw. So you see the first one is just the area charts and the second one is just the, the border. So I just combined, uh, I just two axis in order to make the, um, the charts look, uh, look nicer. I can see. Okay, and I think this, um, the next one in the chart, uh, uh, we like to talk about is this how to build this area. Right? Um, so in order to build this area, so I want uh, to create the the start uh, the start of the area and then the end of area. Right? Um, and of course, of course, this is uh, related to the day you want to select. We see the order day. When, whenever you select the order day, and then you move to the, um, uh, you move backward uh, a certain day, and you move forward to the certain day. So, uh, total um, number of the days in this area uh, we can adjust in here. Right? That says I put uh, I put forty. We see you can see in the center, uh, in, the, in the center of the of the area here, the gray area here. You can see move to the backwards in twenty days, and move to the forwards in twenty days. So total in forty days. Right? So the first one is in order to create the the zoom date. We see the one in the middle. So I have the zoom date. I recreate the zoom date here. So we see uh, look into the zoom date. Before to create the zoom date, I uh, use the set. The reason I use the data set here because uh, the next one I want to uh, hover the data here. So I want to work on the set. So first one is 
to go into the um, order date here to create the uh, gym day set. So which is just right click and then go to create create a set here, right? And then you have a set and then you, you print all the data in, right? Uh, I already created a set here. So you see, uh, you see the data here is exactly the, the order date. And now I uh, I go to the um, the date uh, I, I I put in the middle here right so the zoom date so the zoom date is actually if the the data set is is valid so just just type the, the day um, the date uh, uh, among the data set right and then the, the um, the uh, um, LOD here it just uh, differentiate the dates with another day. Right? Uh, it's one day, so either you can put max, min, or uh, you know it's the same value. So I just differentiate this day uh, when we move the mouse, and we need to look. We need to uh, define the start day and the end day. So I will put it like the uh, min, you min day and you max days. Have here, yeah, I have here as well. Mean zoom day. We see, we see. So the first one is I create the uh, the zoom period. We see just a parameter zoom period. So I just uh, easy to uh, uh, to put this one. Uh, the first one you need to do is to select this one at the um, integer because uh, that will use in the date function, right? Uh, I just put whatever number in here, 40. So, uh, and then uh, you, you, when you change this one, the uh, zoom uh, period is going to change, right? So, back to the mean days, it says uh, I type these, uh, the, the one in the middle, and then the zoom day here, we see the order day, we select that, right? And if we minus, of 50 percent of this one it be minus uh, 20 days of, of, of the zoom period so that will move to the left hand side uh, 20 days and that's why I put the minus here right? and then I want to put the integer here as well because uh, the, the date function gonna work with the uh, integer value only right? and the similar for the max day So uh, we type the zoom day, we plus with 50% of this one, right, which is 20 days. So now we can create this one. So in order to create this one, we use a reference line. So the reference line is how the reference line look like. So reference line here is I use the min, I use the the, the um, should be the band, the area right from the from the mint date, we see the left hand, the, the star, and then from the and to the maximum date, we see from the end. So the band it create, and then I don't put any light. I just put I just fill in in the in the middle, uh, for in the middle of two lights. Uh, we see invisible here the gray color. So okay, so we have it. I think this is done. And um, in the zoom in uh, visualization, we just uh, I just duplicate and this one and then. Uh, now I just narrowed out the date I want to be zoomed in, in here. Right? So I create the uh, the zoom period include here. Just uh, uh, with the uh, formula E from the order date to the zoom date. Right? If we take the zoom date in the middle. And we take the order day uh, before and after the zoom day. If the distance between them is less than 20 days or less than the zoom period divided by 2, uh, that day in that area, so we include it. Otherwise, we exclude it. Right? And then we print this one into the filter here. And then we only take the included only. If I take 2, so that will become the full just like uh, the own lines here right but if i just type the include we
we see just 40 days, right? We see just from here to the left hand side 20 days and from here to the right hand side 20 days. So that's it. So now in order to print uh, both uh, visualization together, right? uh, what I create is what I do is I put that in this uh, dashboard and I change the dashboard into the floating. Right? And then I print the first one online in two and I print the second one zooming in two. Uh, I type uh, the zoom periods put in here. Right? So now when you run, you can see when I move the mouse here with all the formula uh, we set up on the, from the previous slide, a previous uh, uh, two visualizations, you can see the detail of the area you select to be zoomed in will be appear in the red chart here. Okay, so this is this is about this um, this uh, zoomable area charts. It's similar for these bar charts as well. You can do the same. Uh, I will do the next video for this um, another um, another chart. It like uh, the scatter as a plot or uh, the map. Uh, so um, yeah. so we'll. Um, you will see that in the next video so if you uh, found this one interesting and useful um, please subscribe my channel or if you have uh, any you know any idea to share with the uh, with this uh, community feel free to put a comment in my youtube channel and we work together uh, thank you very much and have a great day bye bye